This week marks one year since a massive explosion rocked Beirut. The blast was caused by more than 2,000 tons of ammonium nitrate that had been improperly stored for years. It killed more than 200 people and leveled a large area of Lebanon's capital. Protesters furious about the lack of answers and an economic collapse clashed with security forces. Imtiaz Tayeb has more. They came in their thousands, one year after the world's largest non-nuclear explosion devastated their city. What they want is answers. Instead, they were met with tear gas from a state which refuses to hold itself or anyone else accountable for the disaster. More than 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate, carelessly stored for six years, exploded at Beirut's downtown port, devastating the city and lives. This should have been the happiest day of Isra Sablani's life, but instead became a living nightmare. People when called me the famous bride or uh, bride of Beirut, uh, I, I remember the bad moments. At least 216 people were killed, more than 6,500 injured, and entire neighborhoods were left looking like war zones. It's been a year of healing, of a lot of trauma. Seema Jelani is a humanitarian uh, aid doctor originally from Texas who was living near the port. She's seen here consoling her young daughter Iman in an ambulance just moments after the blast. My daughter had um, glass embedded in her hands and then also has um, scars on her left hand and left leg. We've had to do serious work on ourselves and, uh, and with her, certainly with counseling and um, other techniques to try and just get through day by day. A year later and the damaged port stands as a bitter reminder of what happened and what hasn't happened since. Lebanon's political leaders continue to protect their own by obstructing the courts and blocking any other meaningful investigations into the blast. This is a country which is now a rapidly failing state. An economic crisis has seen 90% of the currency lose its value, fuel lines stretch for miles, and according to the UN, 30% of children now go hungry. We tend to think that these things are caused by evil, but we never really took into account um, the tragedy that could ensue because of laziness, complacency and corruption of a government. Corruption and a growing sense of hopelessness as every new crisis reveals an even deeper misery. For CBS This Morning, I'm Imtiaz Tayeb.